Guys, surgery is awesome. Three best things about the specialty and then the three worst things about the specialty. I don't care, surgery, no surgery, what elective we're on, four to five days a week, gotta get it. Now I drive by it on the way to the hospital in the morning. Life is amazing sometimes, guys. Don't quit, don't give up, keep going. Child, when you're out on your own, a million miles from home. Good morning guys, today is Tuesday, it's 7 o'clock, and I'm actually on my way right now to the hospital to get started with Fracture Clinic. I'm here right now for my second week of my orthopedic surgery rotation, and I'm actually shadowing one of the best orthopedic surgeons in all of Toronto, which was super, super intimidating at first, but uh, it actually is a really good learning experience. And I'm learning on like overdrive right now, but I really feel like I'm just getting better as time goes by, which I guess is a good thing. But anyways, um, it's going to take me like half an hour to get to the hospital today. I'm not in Niagara Falls, I moved back in with my parents because i'm going to be at one of the hospitals near toronto for the next little bit and when the doctor tells you that the day starts at 7 45 you make sure that you're there for 7 45 so i'm gonna get going to work we'll see you guys in a bit One thing I don't miss about being in the city at all, it's trying to find parking. This is this is nuts. Okay, so anyways, back to talking about orthopedic surgery. While I'm here on elective, there's actually three different things that I'm involved in. So we do the fracture clinic like we did this morning. I was basically looking uh, and interpreting some different x-rays and some CTs and some MRIs and getting help from the doctor as well, obviously, trying to learn how to get that all done. We also did some casting and we did some reductions, which is basically where if you break a bone and it's out of alignment, um, we kind of pull it back or push it back into place so that it could heal properly in the original plane that it's supposed to be in. So then in addition to the fracture clinic, I've also been working in a sports medicine clinic and then finally actually being in the OR. Right now, I'm gonna be doing some different assessments of some athletes that have previously had an injury and now they're in the recovery process. And I think we're also doing some cortisone injections today and probably some HA injections too. So that's the hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in the in the thing and then i'm gonna go home and uh get back to studying so that's been a constant in this rotation uh ortho an ortho elective is the elective to learn your anatomy and get it done right and uh, i definitely want to impress this this doc as much as i can so i'm gonna go home and go over a ton of anatomy stuff later on so we'll see you guys in a bit being a little bit camera shy tonight but anyways thought i'd show you guys the non-glamorous side of orthopedic surgery or being on elective as a med student in orthopedic surgery um there's a lot of studying to do ortho is the elective known for anatomy and procedures and knowing a whole bunch of different things so uh compare it to family medicine because that's the rotation that i was just on uh, if i was doing about two hours of studying per night in family medicine ortho i'm doing about three hours per night and i'll tell you the things that have absolutely saved my life so far starting with family yeah, Let's fix this. Ortho bullets, which is an absolute must um, when you guys are on orthopedic surgery, you should be looking up um, all of the cases that you're going to be seeing in the OR or even in fracture clinic or at your sports medicine clinic. And then two um, is YouTube. YouTube is a great resource for going through the procedure beforehand. You don't just want to show up to the OR. Um, and not have a clue as to what's going on because the surgeons in ortho are notorious for asking you questions as you make your way through the surgery. So between YouTube, ortho bullets, um, taking notes when I'm actually in clinic with the surgeon and then doing the homework at night. And then also I keep my suture kit right by me as I'm doing my homework because this is probably just as important as, as the other stuff when you're actually in the OR and closing up wounds. So every like half an hour or 40 minutes or something like that, I'll take a quick little break uh, and I'll throw a few sutures in. I'm gonna study for another hour and a half, go to sleep at 12 and then uh, do tomorrow, but we'll check in with you guys again um, the next time I'm in surgery. <music> Now 
Now, I know I posted this uh, on my Instagram story about a week ago if you guys follow me there, but uh, I had to show you really quick in the YouTube video as well. Uh, right behind me is my high school. This is Holy Cross Catholic Academy. And exactly 10 years ago, to this day, basically, uh, at around 7.30, I'd be getting off the bus, kind of sprinting inside, trying to, to get in there before the opening bell. And now I drive by it on the way to the hospital in the morning. So, you know, life is amazing sometimes, guys. Don't quit, don't give up, keep going. And uh, now let's go do surgery. <laughs> ran out of blue masks on the way out so I had to grab a surgical one <sighs> guys surgery is awesome being in the OR is awesome I just finished right now I really wish that I was able to bring you guys inside today because it was a good day but anyways I got here today at 7 30 I want to describe kind of what happened uh, and it's 4 30 right now so that's been pretty average in terms of what a standard OR day has been like for me so far we had three different cases today and I scrubbed into all of them so we had an ACL reconstruction for the first one then we had an ACL reconstruction with a partial meniscectomy and then finally we had a complete shoulder labrum repair so there was a good amount of variety with the different cases today my favorite part about being in the OR is that when you're there and you're getting to participate in a surgery to me anyways it feels like you're getting to do something that that not many people in the entire world will ever get a chance to do which is a really awesome feeling now I don't know how many of you guys have heard rumors or, or uh, things like that when it comes to orthopedic surgery but I just want to go ahead and confirm that yes sometimes it can feel a little bit like a construction site in there there are definitely times when the surgeon has to go ahead and break out a hammer or uh, go ahead and break out a power drill to try and drill through one of the bone shafts as well uh, it definitely got a little bit loud in there sometimes now in terms of the actual operating room itself the OR there's like a feel to the operating room where sometimes it's like very serious and very everyone has to pay attention to exactly what's going on because if you just mess up a little bit it's probably not going to end up well for what you're trying to do but then there's also times where the surgeon will have the music playing in the background and you're able to kind of lighten up a little bit more um, and in terms of music uh, the surgeons will play anything from like 80s music to uh, there was the weekend playing a little bit today there was a little bit of uh, EDM playing as well so it was a pretty good environment minus 10 outside right now and i don't care surgery no surgery what elective we're on four to five days a week gotta get it let's do it <laughs> And that's going to be it for me. It's going to be a long night tonight, getting some uh, some research work done. And then tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so nothing's getting done then. But starting on Tuesday, I am back in the Emerge for another two-week elective in emergency medicine. So before I go, though, I always like to end off these vlogs with the three best things about the specialty and then the three worst things about the specialty that I found as I was making my way through the elective. So for orthopedic surgery, the three best parts about orthopedic surgery, number one is that being in the OR is awesome. And especially with orthopedic surgery, surgery these operations that you're doing are amazing especially when it comes to things like ACL reconstruction you are harvesting two of the tendons from the hamstring so you're uh, harvesting the semi tendinosis and the gracialis you take the tendons you fold them back over on each other and you use them to reconstruct a brand new tendon by yourself i i really don't think it gets much cooler than that the second best thing about getting into orthopedic surgery as a specialty is that after all your training when you're finally that orthopedic surgeon you are now that doctor you are the specialist in the field whenever someone has any of these injuries acl tears shoulder labrum repair anything that we saw throughout the week you're always going to be the most knowledgeable in that field and that's really awesome to be the one at the end of the day that knows everything and is expected to know everything about one particular area of interest and the third best part about the specialty in my opinion is that there is a very high level of satisfaction when it comes to you physically repairing something yourself this isn't a specialty like psychiatry for example where
where sometimes you would be trying three or maybe two different medications before you finally found the correct one that works. This is an instance where someone has a problem, you bring them into the OR and you are the one that is actually able to fix their problem and you can see that in a very or relatively short period of time. That's a really cool part about the specialty. Now the three worst parts about the specialty and again this is in my opinion. Number one is the hours worked and just in seeing and shadowing the doctor that I was with and I'm not sure if this applies to all orthopedic surgeons but it's some crazy hours that you go to work and um, you know the second worst part about orthopedic surgery is the residency that's associated with it too and in, in hearing residency sounds ridiculously hard when it comes to orthopedic surgery it sounds like you're working a lot of hours but then eventually when you become an attending orthopedic surgeon you are still working a lot of hours and that's compared to a lot of other doctors that i know and that's going to be a mix of being in the or being on call which is another factor altogether and then doing things like private practice if you decide to get into that stuff as well and finally the third worst part of orthopedic surgery in my opinion and probably this is the reason why i don't see myself getting into orthopedic surgery is because the specialty itself really doesn't focus too heavily or at all really on the medicine aspect of medicine. It's a very clear distinction between surgery and something like one of the medicinal specialties like internal medicine or even emergency medicine or family medicine for that matter. I personally just see myself in the long run working in somewhere like either the emergency room or a family medicine clinic, something along those lines and being able to spend those extended periods of time either conversing with a patient or working through their problems in a different way other than going the surgical route. But again, I am super thankful that we have the surgeons that are willing to put in all this time and all this training and become these highly qualified individuals um, because no one could do what they do. I've seen that firsthand now. It's really amazing to, once you actually get inside the OR. And if that's something that you want to do, go for it because it's amazing. And I mean, that's granted that you're also the type of person that's going to be willing to sacrifice all that time and really dedicate themselves to the work itself. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me this week. I really hope that you enjoyed this week's vlog. Um, always open to feedback. I tried a few different things with the editing this week. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. But other than that, I do want to get a few videos out this week. Um, some fun ones too. So uh, we'll see you all on the next one whenever that comes out. And if not, then I'll see you next week. But everyone take care. See you later.